Hi everybody, welcome to the Live with Children here in Boston at the Bioprocessing Summit 2024. And I'm delighted to be joined by Dr. Isaac Houston and Dr. Michael Moller from Thomas Scientific. They're going to tell us a bit more about Thomas Scientific and what they're doing this week at Bioprocessing Summit. So, Isaac, Mike, it's lovely to see you both. How are you? Great, Rizwan. How are you? Very, very good. Doing great. Doing <laughs> great. Really, uh, really great conference. Fantastic. Now, first question for you, though. For viewers who are watching this right now and have never heard of Thomas Scientific, who are you and what do you do? So Thomas Scientific is the largest pure play distributor in North America. So that means that we do not manufacture or make any or provide any service within the market that would compete with any of our suppliers or any of our customers. Uh, so uh, Thomas really works with most of the other suppliers that are actually here at BPI, so we can be your one-stop shop to get everything you need for your workflows. Fantastic. And this week at Bioprocessing Summit, what are you specifically showcasing to delegates? I, you know, this I'll week? take that one. Sure, great. Um, yeah, so I am the Director of Business Development for Cell and Gene Therapy, and basically what we've been trying to do at Thomas for, for some time now is to build up our capabilities and our support, uh, supporting product portfolio for cell and gene therapy as well as bioprocessing. So what we're hoping to do at this show is to showcase the abilities that we're constantly bringing in, the products we're constantly bringing in, and... Uh, Basically, you know, trying to get a feel also for what the needs are uh, in the industry. Right, so let me sort of add a subsequent question out there. As you've been talking to people about what they actually need, mm -hmm. um, what are the sort of things that you're finding people are asking for in the current climate? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a big push uh, definitely when you're making the transition between uh, R&D and GMP manufacturing, being able to make a seamless transition with products that sort of cross that barrier uh, is a very big thing. Uh, I have a, almost 30 years in the industry, and so the portfolio that I've been building, I've been trying to tailor it towards making those transitions a lot more seamless. So for example, um, one of the flyers, yep. That we, uh, that we put together uh, basically highlights some of these capabilities where we have growth factors and recombinant proteins from one of our, uh, one of our vendors, a company called Protein Tech, yep. that actually you can get the same protein in either an RUO, meaning research use only, or a GMP version. And one is just a little bit more validated, but it's the same protein. So literally, you're talking about a seamless transition. Fantastic. Now, one other question I wanted to ask you is, obviously, as a distributor, you're obviously working with various suppliers to sort of highlight their solutions in this space. So, what is the criteria for you choosing those suppliers, and what makes those companies unique and different to other companies in this space? Yeah, I, I can take that. So we're really looking to partner with a lot of innovative companies, people that bring something new to the table that provide an advantage to a customer. They kind of uh, show them everything that's out there in the market, right? That's one advantage that working with the distributor provides is that I am not influenced to provide one product, my product, over any other. I like to bring in the suppliers who provide the truly innovative and groundbreaking products to the market that really help and advance our customers' research in a, in a beneficial manner. Right. Yeah, for me, it's a bit like, um, you know, being able to put out a menu in front of customers and to give them a lot of different solutions and to see what they might be interested in trying. Um, you know, a lot of the vendors in particular that are new, I also like to give them some love. I like to be able, if they've got great new products, if they are innovative, if they are looking at things a little bit differently than other people have traditionally looked at it, I like to be able to go to directly to my customers and point that out and say, hey, you might want to give these guys a look. And to get dug into the processes before they go full GMP. Fantastic. And well, one final question related to that is that People are watching this maybe thinking, well, that's great, but if I'm working through a distributor, am I still going to get the same level of service as if I was working directly with a supplier? So what would you say to people who have those doubts? 
Uh, that would be the exact advantage of Thomas, right? Thomas has people like us who are PhD, technical specialists that can have worked in the lab, worked with these products and understand how they take, a, you know, how they're uh, an advantage. But Thomas is also a company that's been around over 120 years, right? So obviously we provide a higher level of service to those customers that are we are really best partnered with, right? And this would be like small mid-market companies starting out in, in gene therapy. We would probably be the, the ideal partner for them to, to source ev any and every need that they have in that bioprocessing workspace. Brilliant. Well, thank you for that, Luke, Isaac, Mike. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank you for asking those questions. Some of them completely unplanned, so I'm glad <laughs> you were able to do that off the cuff. So, viewers, there you go. If you'd like to learn more about Thomas Scientific and how they could help you in terms of not just your cell and gene therapy uh, processes, but also bioprocessing in general, come and talk to Isaac, Mike, and the rest of the team here at Bioprocessing Summit. If you can't do that, they are at many other shows like Bioprocessing International in September and many other events in North America. But if you can't do that, then check out the link above this video and go to their website and message them on LinkedIn. That's what Isaac did to me, actually, <laughs> only recently. So do that and contact them on LinkedIn and talk to them there as well. So genuinely, Isaac, Mike, it's been lovely to meet you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Viewers, thank Thanks you for, for watching. Fun. Until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.